actually predicting uh, West Coast as well, but I'm predicting Gold Coast to come close, to come much closer than people think. West Coast versus Gold Coast, that was my absolute certainty. I want to make sure that everyone knows the lengths in which this has been of me to go to to get these bad boys in studio. You done messed up. You done messed up, hey, Aaron! You done messed up. A A run. <laughs> Guys, this week uh, is the first instalment of You're Done Messed Up. Now, we'll explain things for the show. We've started putting uncertainties each week for uh, who, which team we think is going to win. Unfortunately, fortunately for me, but unfortunately for the Moose, he's put West Coast as his dead set certainty. Not only did they lose, they were obliterated by the Gold Coast Suns by nearly double their score. This is the Carolina Reaper. It's the world's hottest chili pepper. It's <clears throat> 1.4 million to 2.2 million on the Scovic scale. Uh, for reference, a jalapeno is 5,000 points. This is 1.4 million to 2.2. And we picked the reddest, juiciest one of the batch to make sure it was extra hot. Now, before you read your apology and before we get into proceedings, we do actually have an official message from one of the Suns players who's been on our show and was a bit disappointed. So he's just given you a, a very brief jousting that I want you to see for the first time here. Hey, Moosey, let me know how those Reapers come out the other end, brother. Good luck with your next certainty, eh? <laughs> so, look, I, I've, he's come on the show, he's hooked us up, and then I've gone and thrown it in his face, so I can, I can, I can respect that from, from two. So, without any further ado, you've got your written apology ready to go. So look down the barrel of the camera and apologise for what you've done. I'd like to issue a formal apology to the Gold Coast Suns staff, supporters and players past and present. You've played an integral role in getting the Hello Game Day podcast to where it is today and I feel like I've thrown it back in your face. <laughs> Sorry. My, my actions this past week have been simply unacceptable and I take full responsibility for my actions and will accept the Carolina Reaper as a consequence. Our biggest fans of the podcast include Toot Miller, Will Powell, Oki Weller, Peter Wright, aka Two Meter Peter. And I'd most of all like to apologise to Matt Rowell. I should never have doubted you. <laughs> um, I think without further ado, mate, you ready? And you have to chew it, it can't be swallowed. Chew the whole thing, get the. Yeah, chew. The timer starts when your mouth is completely open and clear. So chew, chewing, show us you're chewing. Yep, show the camera. All right, timer starts now. It's hot already. <laughs> <clears throat> so talk us through how you're feeling right now, Moose. My mouth is on fire. Yep, that's the natural reaction <clears throat> to start off with. Now it will get worse, so don't you worry. <laughs> he is Ooh. hurting. No, you can't. You can't let can't move. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> oh God, Moosey, you're doing well, mate. You're, you're, four, you're, four, you're, four, you're forty. You are forty seconds in. You're nearly there. You'll get to the two minutes, and then the pain will be relieved <clears throat> subtly. Keep going, Moosey. Talking, talking through how you're feeling. I can't really talk. <laughs> it's like your whole mouth is. On fire. <coughs> one minute. You got one minute to go. You got one minute. What I'll do is I'll do you a favour. I'll have them pre-opened. There's no touching. I'll have them pre-opened. The special 199 cabbage is what's going to save you, you reckon? Moose, you have 45 seconds to go before you can get some sort of relief. I'm shaking. Alright Moose, you're doing well mate, you're nearly there, you nearly got 30 seconds to go. Oh. <laughs> 30 seconds to go Moose. 
You're looking good, mate. You're looking good. Get a timer on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, this is our Matt Rao. <laughs> All the boys felt when you pick West Coast. So no, you got 14 seconds to go. <laughs> You've done your apology. You've made amends. Moosey. Five seconds. And then you can tug in. <laughs> you can tug in. Go for it, Moose. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, he's taking the jump off. He's hot. He's sweaty. <laughs> are you meant to vibrate? <laughs> what do you mean? Are you meant to vibrate? <laughs> oh, I'll turn that off. Oh, my computer. <laughs> Moose is hurting. Talk us through how you're going. Is it getting any better, Moose? Is mind over matter? <laughs> right now, mind over matter. And that's what it took with the Suns on the weekend to beat the West Coast. Bit of mind over matter, and they did the job. Now Moosey has to do the job here. I, I feel like I'd be happier for a second wave of COVID than a second wave of this right now. <laughs> Instead of two minutes of reefer, he's asked for another three months of pandemic. <laughs> that is rogue. Now, I, I know this feeling because the balancing act that he's been doing prior to, that'll help the pain subside. You just head above water, head above water. But when you stop and things dry out, Every time air comes into your mouth, it's like you're getting some, it's like you're drowning. It's like you're drowning in flames. My nose is running, but there's no boogers. <coughs> are you gonna throw up? Oh, look at throw up. I can handle it, keep it up, I come in. A few moments later. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you done messed up, bitch! <laughs> that is impressive. Yeah, once again, Gold Coast Suns boys, and to all of the boys at the Hello Game Day podcast, to you, Ponch, to to EJ, um, to Big Willie, um, to Iron Lungs, Willie over here gave me a drag of his of his e cigarette before, and I nearly coughed up a lung. So well, I apologise. From here, guys, basically. Every time there is not a dead, uh, every time we have a dead set certainty called and you get it wrong, there will be a consequence at some point down the line. Whether it's the next episode, a couple of episodes later, we will put these on Instagram and we'll give a short snippet of the repercussions of calling a dead set certainty and getting it wrong. So I hope you guys have enjoyed Moose's efforts. I reckon he's done a fair income shake. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we cut this uh, episode one of you done messed up? I was going to say I done messed up. You did, you did, you did.